the final classification I added to this section, and it's also a very interesting one, is by faces involved, and this is the very first approach I tried to do, but as I went through all the unit operations and processes and textbooks and different bibliographics, I saw that this was not a good fit, especially for this course, as you can imagine, there are not so many gas-gas applications because they are readily miscible, not likely to be separated, no industrial applications, and so on. So the most common one that you will, because I was also thinking about maybe, well, we separate air, which is gas, but yes, the process per se is distillation. So this is by definition a gas-liquid operation. So distillation, evaporation, gas absorption, drying, humidification and so on are essentially well technically humidification is not a separation process uh, so let's take this away and drying is in fact a separating process because you are removing vapor from the solid material or the in this case in this liquid material part yeah solid we also have humidification and drying remember that this by definition is not a separation process we have adsorption, ion exchange, chromatography, filtration. Uh, liquid liquid will be only extraction. That's what I was amazed that there's only one process for this type of interaction. Liquid solid, crystallization, leaching, watching. Also, humidification and drying can be possible. And solid solid, well, I really like this part right here because typically in process and chemical engineering you will not cover solid solid as a chemical separation rather a mechanical or physical preparation so you can find this as solid handling solid particle operations mechanical physical separations which this is my favorite because it has both mechanical and physical separations so both they are not exactly the same mechanical and physical so that's why i like this one right here so as we go through all the following uh, sections and lectures, I want you to check out what type of phases are involved. In some cases, you can have all the way to three phases. So just ensure to check that out, and I'll see you in the following lecture.